Hi, this is Dr. Supratim Bhattacharya. I'm a consultant onco surgeon. So today I will show how we do a robotic surgery. So this is Apollo Hospital. We have a robotic XI system here. Uh, so there's the biggest difference between an XI and X system is this boom. This is the robotic boom. This is attached to the boom control here. You you take this boom close to the patient and then you talk what is called the robotic arms. So we have four robotic arms here. This is arm one, two, three and four. These four robotic arms are affixed to this boom. These arms go inside the patient's abdomen. So depending on the kind of surgery you are doing, we either dock the arms inside the patient's abdomen or inside the patient's chest. So suppose you are planning to do a subpenitrium or we do a lung resection. In that we put the arms inside the patient's chest. In this patient we are planning to do a robotic low angle resection. This patient has a rectal cancer. So for that we have uh, put all the robotic arms inside the patient's abdomen. So as you can appreciate these are the robotic ports and the robotic arms are fixed with the robotic ports. These are the robotic instruments like we have a progress forceps here, we have a fenestrated bipolar there. These are all robotic instruments. These robotic instruments are affixed to the robotic arm and then again this arm is controlled from the robotic boom. So this is the patient uh, patient part. Now we have a, a vision card here. This is the vision card. So this vision card, card is touch enabled and you can actually uh, convey your instruction from this card to the console there. This is the console. This is console you operate from here. So if you come close you will understand. <coughs> you have this uh, robotic arms are controlled from here. So you have some this joystick like function. You you put your fingers inside, then you look into this um, and this console gives you a vertical So I am seeing inside this abdomen and have moving my finger. As I move my fingers here, like this, this robotic instruments also move inside patient's abdomen. What we do is that we get to see a very magnified 3D vision from here, and then after seeing the operative key, we move our instruments from here, and by this means we perform any kind of robotic operative procedure. So that's it. Thank you.